Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so today we do have McDonald's, but I'm also gonna be eating some of this pickled baby corn. If you guys have a Kroger, because this is where I get it, um, the private selection brand. I don't know, maybe those are at other places. I don't know, but I got this at Kroger. It is so amazing. Okay. Incredible. And then we have a 10 piece. I usually get 20, but you know what? I got 10. I originally wanted it because McDonald's has a Szechuan sauce or whatever. I wanted to try it. They didn't give it to me. They only gave me sweet and sour, so they failed. They failed. That's okay, though. It is what it is. I'm also going to show you guys the way I usually eat a nugget versus how I'm going to be eating them for this video. And we also have some fries. So, yeah. And, of course, we have a Diet Coke. Can you guys even see me over all this? I gave my nuggets the platform they deserve. Okay. So you guys can see me dip. Oh my God. Mm. This is all I ever get from McDonald's. On a very, very rare occasion, maybe like once every two years, I'll get a cheeseburger with just cheese and onion. Nothing else. I could eat these with like every meal. There we go. They're incredible. Please, you guys. Try these. Okay. So how I usually eat a chicken nugget from McDonald's. <laughs> this is really weird. Uh, just embrace it. I'll eat the outside. So it's step one. All of the out bits are off. But then you have that part. So you just. And that's how I eat them. And then I throw this piece away. But for video purposes, we wouldn't eat it. But yeah, I usually only eat the skin. Random fact. Oh my God. <laughs> No one else eats these, like my girlfriend doesn't or anything, so I do just stick my fingers in this. Yum. It's so good. So, I have started to count calories. Um... I'm not supposed to. I mean, it's not recommended, but I kind of have to. I'm about to give you a perfect example as to why. So, um, 
with this eating disorder program, they want me to eat what I want, when I want, what I'm craving without binging. So what I actually wanted was a 20 piece nugget, a large fry, and a McFlurry. I like to get an Oreo McFlurry with fudge. It's so good. So that's what I really wanted. And that's what I was craving. And that's not a binge for me. I know for a lot of people it might be, but I'm just letting you know a large fry and 20 piece nugget is not a binge for me. Um, a lot of people actually eat that as a meal. That's why it is sold as a meal. But um, no, not a binge. Um, is it overeating? Yes. I feel like most Americans here in the USA do overeat and that's why our portions are so huge, but not a binge again. Let me repeat, not a binge. So that's what I really wanted. But then when I was like thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, like that is my full day of calories in one meal. And I just can't, like I literally can't because the things that I want, the things that I'm craving, um, it takes me a little bit more to get full than the average. I'm never going to lose weight if I don't count calories. I have to eat less. To lose weight, you have to be eating less calories. It's that simple. So it's just been really like, <sighs> I don't know. Hard for me and confusing because I feel like this is all I keep talking about, but <laughs> it's a big part of my life right now, so. I'm telling you, that is the best way to eat a nuggie. I love a good nuggie. I love a good nug. <laughs> I'm just going to put them in here. It's just how I like it. Do you guys hear my cat? My cat. Oh, there she is. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Her two most favorite things in the world. Chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And ice cream. I'm dead. Oh. Yep. I noticed doing mukbangs, like I'm such a messy eater. This is a medium fry, by the way. I usually get a large. But I didn't this time. Two are stuck together. That creeps me out, but <laughs> we'll embrace it. Well, I can't pet you right now, baby. I'm using my fingers to eat.
I promise. Oh. Be right back. Back in action. What I was trying to say is, <laughs> I promise I'm not trolling. Your guys' ears ever ring? I think I was told this by some old folks when I was younger, where if your ear is ringing randomly, that means someone is talking about you or thinking about you or something. I don't know. And then if you dream of someone else, that means they are dreaming of you too. Do you guys believe in stuff like that? Uh, lies. <laughs> or, you know how sometimes randomly you get the shivers, like a wave of chills. <laughs> I always say, oh, sorry, someone just walked all over my grave. I don't know who told me, but supposedly, if you get the uh, the chills, that means like in the future, someone like stepped over your grave at the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the situation type deal all right hi baby oh my god i know <laughs> I'll give you lovin's when I'm done. She's so sweet. <laughs> I think we're done. I'm gonna have one more of these just because like obsession. For four pieces is only 15 calories. Ma'am. Let mama wash her hands and then I pet. Yeah. So, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, we'll see how this uh, calorie count and situation goes. Put the crumbs in this. I'm gonna go give my cat some loves. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.